Boom. Let's go a little bit harder. You're going to notice the Yaesu is much faster both in getting into the scan mode and scanning. The Panamanian seal punchers. I, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, that's that. Andy Pyrex. So I just came back from the FFL here picking up a new gun. Uh, this is a little backpack 22 Magnum 410 combo rifle. It's a Chiapa double badger. And this is kind of what it looks like. This is actually how it folds down too. I'll show you here. It folds down pretty small. Making it basically like I was saying a backpack rifle. And it's a 410 22 Magnum wood stock. Uh, it has ghost ring sights, it comes with the ghost ring sights, fiber optic ghost ring sights, and the mounts for a sling. It's an over-under design, it uses this handle here to release the, the, the breech, like a so. And it's double trigger, which is not the greatest, but let me zoom in a little bit here. So you use this break at the the handle underneath the, the action to release the barrel, falls down like that, and it folds up pretty much on top of itself, so you can stow it. There's not much to say about it, and I need to do some videos of shooting, but it does have uh, extractors, a, a a mechanical not a mechanical, just a manual extractor. It does lift the rounds out, which is really nice. And while I'm talking about it, think of this as though it were the M6 Scout, because I think this is a nice little M6 Scout replacement for those of us that don't want to spend the $600 to $800 that the M6 Scout often garners on Gunbroker. Think of this gun, a nice um, 410 22. They have 22 long rifle and 410 shotgun. I got the Magnum because I already have plenty of uh, plinking 22 rifles. All in all, it's a cheap gun, about $300 shipped to my FFL here in California. And it's nice and tiny. It's got really nice sights. I'll see if I can show you here. There's that. The front sight's going to be almost impossible for you to get. I'll show you the front sight. And that's also a metal rifle band on it. Pretty cool little gun. It's got a tang safety here. Safety on top of the action. Got kind of a straight grip. It's a perfect kid's gun, and I'm assuming I'll probably teach Ben how to shoot using this because it's a uh, break action, which uh, break action, single shot, or 22 uh, bolt action is really, really good gun to, learn, uh, to teach kids how to shoot with because they don't have the tendency to try and mag dump uh, the whole magazine out of it and they can focus on the mechanical principles and the fundamentals of shooting. Good kids gun, good little backup safety gun, survival gun. I'm gonna see how this fits in a backpack and it's probably gonna become my my trunk gun or my camping gun and all that other good stuff. Where's your bug out bag? My bug out bag is in the trunk of my car. But that's a good idea. Probably fit in there. A couple of items of note when I picked it up. There's a little bit of surface rust that uh, I'm going to go ahead and take care of because it is really, really dry in the factory. So keep that in mind. Um, that's interesting. You can fire, I just realized that, you can fire the, the triggers with the action uh, broken down like that. And I think to reset the triggers, you actually use the, the caulking arm here is what does it. So, yep. The top trigger is, or the front trigger, is actually the 410 trigger, and the bottom trigger here is the 22. Um, I don't have a 22 snap cap with me, so sadly I'm going to drop that. Interesting. I have a feeling that won't harm the. I think firing the 22 firing pin dry fire is not going to be a problem. So if you don't have this lever cocked, um, the there's nothing to pull. It is still a single action, so you have to cock this with the the under folder and then you can pull the trigger. All in all a pretty cool gun. You adjust the rear sight here with this little set screw. You get that. There's a set screw right there in front of the fiber optic and that raises and lowers the sight plane here. 
It actually has mounts for a scope, which is <laughs> kind of cool. Scope rails here, so that you can uh, maybe get a little better accuracy out of it. But for a $300 gun, that's supposed to be packable and portable. I don't know that you'd want to. Anyway, look for some shooting videos in the future. And for those of you... For those of you interested in getting the Chiapa Double Badger, make sure you keep an eye on Gun Broker because they do go for about $300. They also have the Single Badger, or the, sorry, the Little Badger. And the Little Badger is a 22 or tw uh, 22 Magnum only. It doesn't have the 410, but I really wanted that combination for extra versatility. So cool, guys. All right, take it easy.